Today we're going to talk about the uh, Benchmade Cretillion, uh, the model 551 with the Tonto blade. This, uh, I mean, the 553 with the Tonto blade. This is the 551 for comparison. Uh, here's the packaging that you would normally get when you buy a Cretillion by Benchmade. You get this um, Benchmade box and the access lock little logo panel thing. You get instruction manual and information catalog manual. You get this fabric bench made pouch with drawstring top. And here's the actual knife. The black one is the 553 bench made Gertillion with the Tonto blade. This happens to be my uh, everyday carry olive drab 551 with the conventional blade and which happens to be black coated. So those are a couple of the upgrades the black coating and the uh, olive drab. This one weighs at uh, 4.5. One ounces, and this one's actually lighter, uh, 3.8, which is surprising because the blade is a little bit thicker right at the front. As you can see here, here's the Tonto blade, and really good for piercing because the blade geometry uh, less likely to snap off the tip. So if that's important to you, so let's talk about the 551 Tonto. <clears throat> this is a male Pardue design. The whole knife in general, the access lock was designed by uh, two other guys. Uh, it has uh, ambidextrous thumb studs on the blade. The blade is 3.45 inches long. The knife overall is um, around 8 inches and it's 4.6 inches closed. One of the, the most desirable features about the uh, Griptilians are that they, they're ambidextrous opening and you could just pull back on the axis lock and, sw and swing like that. I don't recommend flipping knives. It puts a lot of pressure and stress on all the components. A lot of manufacturers don't recommend it. Um, but when you're closing like this, it's very a very easy thing on the knife. It doesn't put that much pressure at all. You could just ease that close, which is really nice. Um, I do find, however, one of the, the cons is that um, the access lock here, unlike some of the higher end bench made knives, uh, this is a little bit sharp on the fingers. One of my knives I actually knocked that down with a file. Uh, ambidextrous thumb studs here. Really nice geometry on the um, Tonto blade. Uh, perfectly straight here as opposed to having a belly like the conventional blade. Really, really good for piercing. Unbelievable. So I guess in self-defense for uh, um, stabbing, it's going to be useful for that. But I guess from a lot of knife experts that I've seen on television and in books, uh, cutting motions are a lot better for disabling arms and legs and so forth as opposed to stabbing will stop the attacker faster. But uh, that's under interpretation, I guess. So there's jimping down here on the stainless steel liners that are protruding. It's got skeletonized uh, liners to keep the weight down, but it does have liners. It's got um, phosphor bronze uh, washers inside for ease of um, uh, opening and closing and for strength. It's got texturing on both sides of the grip, which is really nice without being too aggressive. There's some back here. It's got the black coated stainless steel clip, which is ambidextrous for left or right pocket carry, but it is for tip up only, which I prefer anyway. It's got torque screws so you can take the entire knife apart. Number six and number eight screws throughout on the torque size. It's got jimping uh, actually on the metal on top here, jimping on the blade, so it'd be less likely to, if you're stabbing, to, for your hand to go on the blade, especially with the curve over here. And it's got a little bit uh, ridges back here as well. The handles are uh, glass re reinforced nylon called uh, Velox, glass filled nylon. It's got the um, satin non coated blade. Lifetime warranty by Benchmade. And it says 154CM steel, which is a premium stainless steel. Uh, Mel Pardue design for the knife. And it has the Benchmade logo and the model number beneath uh, the butterfly. All right, so it, uh, it's really strong uh, and really light, really easy to carry. It's a little bit thick, but not that wide. A lot of knives are, for I find, too wide in the pocket. This one is perfect. Um, what else I'm going to say about it on the pros and cons, uh, the access lock is really strong, really easy to operate. Just love the access lock. It's lightweight but strong, the knife, for everyday carry. It's, uh, it's really grippy, the texture, so it's not going to slip in your hand, but it's not too abrasive. Really love that. This is, I tried a lot of knives, and this is one of my favorites, uh, these uh, Griptilians. It's got the excellent steel, lifetime warranty, torque screws for taking it apart. Uh, the cons are the pocket clip I find is a little bit too much space in here, so it takes up more room in the pocket. The access lock mechanism buttons are a little bit sharp, I find, sharp edges. Um, less useful blade for everyday tasks on the Tonto version as opposed to the regular version. Overall, though, it's a really nice knife. Highly recommended here at Survival Guns. Thanks so much for watching this knife review of the Griptilian by Benchmade.